Hi, nice to see you there. I'm Anthony, and we're standing here in the Scottish Highlands, one of the UK's most beautiful and rugged landscapes. A landscape that bears the scars of a long and noble history, with many a ruin to be seen. Ruins scattered through a landscape of rolling moors and windswept peaks. running unchecked to a sea of endless locks. But we're here for a different reason. Last year, the Scottish Government announced the results of possibly the UK's greatest ever natural experiment. An experiment that involved over 11,000 hours of fieldwork, 44 square kilometers of wilderness, and engaged millions of people worldwide. This is the story of the UK's first ever mammal reintroduction. This is the story of the British beaver. But our journey didn't start here. It began two weeks ago in a car park in Kent. So we're here at the Wildwood Trust in southern England to see some beavers. The great thing about captive animals is you always guarantee the sighting. Here we are. I've just seen a beaver over there. How about we get you closer to the action? If you look straight ahead, you'll see it, poking its head up through the water. Beavers, as you can see, are perfectly adapted for an aquatic life, with a thick fur coat to keep them warm. They can even seal off their ears, nose and mouth while swimming underwater. All the while, that broad, oar-like tail helps their bodies cut through the water like a torpedo. He's just to your right now. Looks like he's coming in for a closer look. That's the beaver's way of telling you, you've been here long enough. Well, now that the beaver's captured your hearts, let's go to Scotland and see how these little guys are faring. After all, they've been absent for over 400 years. We'll be in the front line talking to people who've been affected by the reintroduction, and I'll make it my mission to make sure that we see one in the wild. Hope you had fun in Kent. But now that you're back here in Scotland, I think it's about high time we actually find out what impact the beavers are having on the local area. I phoned a local conservationist called Pete. He says he's going to show us around and point out some of the things the beavers have been up to. Why don't you come and join me? So thanks for taking me out, Pete. So you've been head of the Napdale Forest Centre for how many years? Uh, well, I've been living in Napdale area for around 17 years. Um, the beavers have been here since 2009, so that's just over eight years now. And since they've been here, have you noticed any changes in the area? Yeah, there's been some major changes to the local ecology, and in terms of landscape change as well, we've seen some significant effects created by the beavers. Would you be able to show me any of them? Certainly can. And what we're looking at here is a beaver dam, um, and it's holding back a significant amount of water on this rock. It must be 10 to 15 metres long. Why on earth would a beaver need to build something like this? 15 metres long and growing. Um, beavers are quite cumbersome animals. They're much happier in water. So this gives them access to their food. It's much easier for them through water. So they create this huge floodplain, really, and they can use it to swim around and get new food and resources. Yep, yep. They've flooded significant areas of forest on both sides of this rock. Wow. So should we go and take a look at it? I'd love to. OK, brilliant. Does all this tampering bring any benefits to the ecosystem? Yeah, there's a huge number of other benefits. So, so if you look around the lock here, if you see the, the dead wood over there, that's fantastic for invertebrates, um, damselflies and dragonflies. We don't get much dead standing wood in this country. If you look over there, there's a piece of flooded forest. That shallow water creates an ideal habitat for amphibians to breed. And those amphibians attract in one of our other species, the heron, to fish. Um, if we look at the over-deepened area behind the dam, 
that kind of attracts certain species of fish. They like to breed there. And of course, another of our iconic animals, the otter, will then come in there to fish. So there's a huge range of benefits just around this one lock here. Um, the only problem, I suppose, is if this was your garden, it would be fairly catastrophic. This is a reality for some people. Adrian Ivory is a farmer whose land is beginning to look a lot like the wilds of Napdale. So as you can see, to start with, this is how the beavers start the action on the tree, and they will, over a short period of time, fell this tree. Once they've felled it, they'll then utilise some of the branches off it to build dams in the watercourses. The big problem with that is that they build these big dams and the water can have a differential height of about four or five foot from one side to the other. They then block these watercourses up and I have to spend days, weeks a year, walking watercourses to go and see where the dams are and try and remove them. This then prevents us from working the land to produce quality food for the, for the population. It was great talking to Adrian. I don't think anyone can deny the overwhelmingly positive aspects of a beaver reintroduction. However, there are legitimate concerns, especially here on farms, and it's important to remember that. That being said, I've been waiting two weeks to see one in the wild, so I'm going to hop back in the car, drive back to Napdale, and hopefully we'll see one there. We're back in Napdale Forest, ground zero for the beaver trial. Local photographer said this is the spot, and he also said they love apples. Everything's catered for. Unfortunately, they're pretty shy of humans, so I'm going to leave this virtual reality camera on the ground and come back tomorrow morning. Hopefully, if all goes well, those apples will be gone and we'll be looking at the first ever European beaver in VR. What an amazing way to get up close and personal with such an elusive creature. A creature not about its controversy, but for me, it's got to stay. Here, yeah. hope you enjoy it as much as I did.